Thank you very much for accepting our interview. China is still reeling from the shock after the deadly terror attack this May in Rumuchi railway station. And uh, the country has also witnessed a series of deadly terror attacks since 2013. Is terror threats only a problem for China? There is a very important trigger for the recent attacks in China's Xinjiang. Many of the terrorists watched or listened to video or audio files online with extremist content. We also saw some of them, and I have to say they're highly inflammatory. They use religion to incite violence. But most of these terrorist materials are produced and uploaded outside China, which poses a potential threat to other SCO countries as well. Uh, is there any immediate threat to the SCO countries except China, such as uh, Uzbekistan or Pakistan or even Russia? It's not an exaggeration to say that terrorists exist in all SEO member and observer states. They have never stopped attempts to plan and organize new attacks, not even for a minute. SEO members are also facing complicated neighboring threats. In the south of Afghanistan, security is a big headache. According to the information, we have the three evil forces, which are separatism, terrorism, and religious extremism, exist there. In Syria, terrorists from SEO member countries are going there to join the battles and boost their influence. All this poses a huge threat to SEO member security. Uh, talking about the situation in Afghanistan, the United States will soon withdraw its troops from that country. But the country is still quite restive. There are still a lot of uh, uh, potential challenges in the security situation. How will the U.S. troop withdrawal at the end of 2014 affect our fight against terrorism? The withdrawal of NATO forces already set in motion, but they will leave behind uncertainty in the security situation of the country. Afghanistan is an observer state in the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, and every SEO member is now keeping a close eye on its internal security. However, as you said, Afghanistan is facing grave challenges in security. One challenge is that terrorist organizations are still deeply entrenched in some areas, some with huge numbers of terrorists. Another major headache is that Afghanistan is now the biggest producer and exporter of opium. We have noticed that opium production has been very closely linked to terror organizations, particularly the three evil forces. Many terrorist activities are funded by the opium production, which further complicates the issue. What is the Shanghai Cooperation Organization always vigilant against? The answer is that we are on high alert against anyone who is making use of the internal social conflicts of SEO member states as a tool to sabotage national security. That's why we keep stressing that if we want to defend ourselves against international terrorism, cooperation is key, not just among SEO countries, but also globally. We must not apply double standard on terrorism. No matter where and how terrorists strike, we must oppose them with the same attitude. The Shanghai Cooperation Organization has a lot of member states, and some of them have uh, different interests to pursue, and some even conflicting against each other. And also, there are two major powers in, within the um, SCO member states, that is Russia and China. Which country is now taking the lead, and uh, how do you balance the differences or the conflicts within the member states? The Shanghai Cooperation Organization is based upon the Shanghai spirit, which is different from what you have described. According to this principle, each member state, no matter how big or small, has an equal say. Any move must be based on consensus of all members. As for what we do in fighting terror, we share intelligence information, we coordinate strikes against the three evil forces, we carry out regular anti-terror drills and military training, and we also have mechanisms to provide security for major events in the member states, such as the Beijing Olympics in 2008 and the Sochi Winter Olympics this year. And to cope with the new challenges, we have launched border security cooperation to crack down on terrorist weapons and human smuggling. All this has achieved good results.